Shalom everyone and welcome back. Today we're taking a look at five different models from Victorinox. These are all Swiss Army knives, 84 millimeter. Um, unlike the 91 millimeter, which you are used to see, I have in front of me here the compact and this is the deluxe tinker. So if I put these next to these here, you can see the difference in length. Uh, so these two are 91 millimeters these five are 84 millimeter versions of the Swiss Army knife. So today we're taking a look at these five models that I have in front of me and I'm just going to show you the tools and I just want to show you some versions of the Swiss Army knives that you might not be that you might not be familiar with. Uh, starting with this one which I suspect you are familiar with especially if you've watched my channel at all. And by the way if you have feel free to subscribe you know click the uh, thumbs up button and then the subscribe button and join the family uh, so this is the sportsman which is one of my personal favorites i do carry this one in my pocket this is the only um 84 mil knife that i sometimes carry in my pocket it's not my everyday carry that goes to the compact right there but when i do feel like carrying a slim short knife this is what i throw in my pocket that's the reason it has the pocket dangler thingy right here, which you can get from either Amazon or AliExpress. Uh, best way to carry the uh, Swiss Army knives, in my opinion. So this is the Sportsman. Let's quickly go over the tools. The first layer is the traditional openers layer. So you have a can opener. <laughs> I blacked out for a minute. Uh, you have a can opener with a three millimeter, three millimeter flat head on top which also can be used as a Phillips screwdriver. I've never opened any cans with any Victronox Swiss Army knife uh, because here in Israel all the cans have a pull tab. On the other side you have a bottle cap lifter with the wire stripping notch right here which I have never used and then the 6 mil flat head on top which also can be used as a pry bar. You see it comes to a very tapered edge right there so you can use this either as a flathead screwdriver or a pry bar to your choosing so that's the first layer the second layer is obviously the blade which is a standard victorinox blade you can see mine is fairly used i use my knives you know uh, i use my tools all of my tools and then the last tool uh, is the nail file which i love i just i use this a lot you know uh, I just, I do. I use this for my nails. I use this for like plastic toys or like anything with a plastic molding that has like a rough edge or something that I need to file down for a minute. I use this and this tip right here is extremely useful to get under your fingernails to get like gunk out and stuff like that. So that is everything on the front and on the back you do have a reamer right here uh this is the reamer all punch you know you can sew with this you can scrape with this i just did i just used this as a, as a scraper earlier today uh and then you have the um corkscrew which i put in a sim card removal tool i don't eject sim cards <laughs> that often but i do use this uh for various different tasks um, if you haven't seen my videos on Victronox accessories, uh, please go back, I think, one or two videos ago. I posted a video about Victronox accessories, and part of that is the replacement tools that goes in the corkscrew instead of the traditional uh, tiny flathead, like the jeweler's flathead that goes in here. Uh, the Sportsman also comes with a tiny hole here for a straight pin, which I currently don't have. Uh, scale tools is gonna be exactly the same across the entire 84 millimeter lineup. This is the toothpick, which I do use to clean my teeth. I know some of you uh, don't like that, but I do, but you know. Uh, these are the tweezers, and I use these a lot. They're very precise, they're very uh, firm they have a firm grip you know if you know what I mean uh, so this is the sportsman moving on to this vintage recruit this is if you can see the different reflection because this is made from different materials so it doesn't reflect as much as the Celidor version which are all the new versions of the Swiss Army Knives comes with this Celidor scales these are vintage nylon scales 
In my opinion, these are stronger, the more robust. Uh, so the Recruit doesn't have any tools on the back side. All the tools are on the front. We start with um, opening it backwards, but you get the point. We start with the blades, so you get two blades. You have the blade, not blades, blades. <laughs> you have the standard blade, which has the signature right here. If we can focus on that, Victronox, Switzerland, stainless. Rust, uh, how, how do I say that? Rust uh, fry? Rust fry? Rust fry? Uh, I don't know how to read that. And on the back, you have the Officer Swiss. And on the small pen blade, nothing at all except for a blade. So these are the blades you get on the recruit. And then the opener, opener's layer uh, is exactly the same as on the sportsman uh, now you can see the main downside of the nylon scales the logo the symbol is not is, is not it's not the same it's not this is a metal inlay I think it's aluminum and this is just a print so it wears off so uh, this was the recruit moving on to the walker I think yeah that's that is the walker uh, the walker is, again, a two-layer Victronox Swiss Army Knife, nothing on the back, everything on the front. Now, this walker suffered a damage <laughs> by my hands because a while ago I tried to drill a hole uh, to put a pocket clip on it, and I failed miserably. So I just I keep it like that with the hole because it doesn't affect the operation of the knife at all so i just leave it like that until i find the time to pick up some new scales and swap the scales let me know down in the comment section below if you, if you want to see a video of me swapping the scales on this walker anyway moving on to the tools you have the blade and this is a more modern um victronic swiss Army knife so it has the more modern stamp on the bottom of the blade it says victronox swiss made stainless nothing on the back um oh i'm sorry <laughs> officer swiss on the back uh and this is the blade also very used this was actually my first swiss arm knife uh so yeah that, that i have that for quite some time now and now we move on to the combo tool which combines all four functions of the opener layers on the more traditional style Swiss Army knives, which means to say it's a bottle cap lifter and a can opener and a flathead and a what do you call that a Phillips it has a Phillips edge right here so if you put this edge into a Phillips screw you can rotate that and it keeps the uh wire and strip wire stripping notch so actually five uh functions in this single tool which is the combo tool and then you move to the saw the wood saw which is why it's called the walker because you walk and you chop down some woods and then you can you know whittle and stuff and so yeah that's the walker so like we said nothing on the back and the scale tool is exactly the same as the recruit and the Sportsman, you got the toothpick right here, you got the tweezers right here, and for some reason Victorinox keeps referring to the ring as another function, so you have a ring right there. Moving on to the fourth on my table, this is the single layer waiter. So this is called the waiter, it has a single layer of tools. Uh, which is exactly the same as the walker as far as tools go on the front you have the blade This is also by the way a nylon scale uh, Victorinox so it ho also has the uh, Victorinox Switzerland stainless rust fry rust free uh, Let me know down in the comment section. How do I pronounce? this word uh, so you have the blade and you have the combo tool right here it has a 90 degree stop and you know exactly the same as the walker except this one has a tool on the back which is the corkscrew uh, so this is why it's called the waiter because you can open bottle of wines with it you can open up uh, beer bottles with it and it has a blade so this is the waiter moving on to the fifth and final model which is the latest uh, on my table this is the latest i got 
but it's also a vintage knife. This is the Tinker Small. Now, you might be familiar with the Tinker. It is a 91 millimeter of uh, Swiss Army knife from Victorinox, but this is the Tinker Small. I just got this recently. It's a, they no longer sell this, uh, but the Tinker is basically exactly like the um, Recruit, only it has tools on the back. So you have the can opener here with the three mil, right here, the three millimeter flathead on top. On the other side, you have the can opener, the, I'm sorry, bottle opener with the six millimeter flathead on top and the wire stripping notch right here. And then you have two blades. You have one big blade from Victronox and the stamp says, let's focus right here, Victronox stainless, uh, Victronox Switzerland stainless Rastafari, Rastafari, Rastafari. I'm not sure. And then you have the small pen blade as well. Uh, right there, this pen blade has been used quite a lot as you can see. And then you move on to the back, you have the reamer all without a sewing eye right there because this is very old. And then you have the 90 degree Phillips screwdriver on the back. So this is the Tinker Small and it does come with the um tools on the scales which are the toothpick and the tweezers right here wonderful pair of tweezers and of course the key ring right here so i'm very proud of this tinker small because i was on the hunt for quite some time to find one these are all of the 84 mil versions that i own let me know down in the comment section below if you are familiar with either of those knives and do you own any of them? Are you carrying any of them? Do you carry any of the 84 mil um, versions of the Victorinox Swiss Army Knives? If you do, let me know down in the comment section below and if you learned something new today, please let me know down in the comment section below and we can have a discussion about the different versions of the Victorinox Swiss Army Knives. Thank you all so much for your time. I really appreciate you all being here. And if it's your first time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram right here on Israeli underscore EDC. And I will see you all in the next video. And until then, adios.